What's up everybody, welcome to John's Daily Hustle. So I know some of you guys have been wanting to know where I've been, as I've not been very active on YouTube here for like the last two weeks, and I apologize. I know I've said that in a couple other videos, and I really do apologize for not being active like I normally am. I haven't been able to jump on people's lives, I haven't been live myself, I haven't been commenting on people's videos, I haven't had time to watch it. So here's where I've been and here's what I've been up to. So for starters, this season has absolutely exploded on me right now. I've picked up several new customers just in the last two weeks. I mean, more than I could have ever have thought that I was going to pick up this season. And the other big factor is the weather. It just keeps raining and raining and raining. And this rain out here has absolutely been messing me up. This is what my day has looked like all day today. It's been raining off and on. I'm not quite soaked yet. I keep beating it, or at least it starts raining just as I finish up. I should say it starts raining harder just as I finish up. I don't normally mow in the rain, but I had to make an exception today. There's no other way around it. I do have a very good schedule where I only mow certain days of the week, and I have a couple of gaps in between. I usually mow Monday, I'm off Tuesday, Wednesday, and I mow Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and then I'm off Sunday. Now those off days are days that I try to keep up on maintenance, or pick up landscape jobs, or rain days. Here the last month, I have not had a day off really. I've been working almost every day between the rain and landscape jobs that I've picked up. Which unfortunately I've gotten so busy I did not record a lot of the landscaping jobs. I only recorded little bits and pieces here and there and took a lot of pictures. So eventually you guys are going to see a video of the landscaping jobs that I've done so far this year. Kind of all compiled into one. Of course yet again some of these landscape jobs that I'm picking up I'm slightly limited to because of my setup. Knowing that I only have a small little utility trailer and only a half ton truck. But I'm doing all right so far. That's something else I was looking at doing here is actually making some upgrades for my business. But we'll get into that in just a little bit of a later video. We won't touch that one on this one because that's a very long subject. A very long topic, I should say, anyways. Anyways, a couple things that fell through. I had changed my plans up. You guys that know me know I'm constantly changing my plans for what I'm going to do with my business every day, anyways. And there's that too. I'm fighting myself trying to figure out what's the next step I want to do, where's the next place I want to be for my business. So that's also what I've been doing with here the last month. As well as we had a couple of breakdowns, including the Toro Time Master. Something finally broke on it, and you guys will never guess what broke on it. Actually, something that some people said was not normal for it to break, but then again, some people told me that it was normal. So I don't know whether it's normal or not, but you guys will see that in Thursday's video. So be sure to stay tuned was to find out what broke on that so we finally are starting to have problems with this using it commercially. After Thursday's video I want to know if you guys have had the same problems but again stick tuned to Thursday's video to find out what broke on it. We've also been dealing with problems with our SRM 225 and the Darwin's grip. Part of the problem I've been having with both of those things has actually prevented me from going ahead and making my video for the review of the Darwin's grip. So for some of you guys that are waiting for that review, please bear with me. I've had a couple of setbacks with that, as well as just how busy I've gotten here this week. As well as we've also had a problem with our X mark here, specifically in the deck area. But actually what ended up happening was we were cutting very uneven, and by uneven, it was a full, it was over an inch off on this side of the deck compared to this side. And what had happened was we actually have a small hole or a small leak in that tire. There's a nail in there somewhere I'm going to have to plug. But we had a leak in that tire, and that tire was slightly unflated. This tire just went flat about a couple of weeks ago. Well, once again, something happens. Our other tire has finally gone flat. I got through this mowing. But I don't have slime on me and this tire doesn't have slime in it. So I'm hoping I can fix it with this here. Hopefully we can get through the rest of the day. Oh, there it is right there. I'd say there's the problem. So I'm going to pull that out and try to fix it. But anyways, there was only four PSI in that back tire. It was pretty underflated too. And then after I flated those, this was still off an inch. So I had to re-level the deck because it was obviously mowing like that. And... I ended up messing up a yard. So I will admit I did make a mistake this year and I did mess up a yard because it was unlevel. It wasn't cutting even. You guys that are experienced know exactly what I'm talking about. You know, it looks like it's digging in. You're scalping part of the yard anyway. I did end up messing up a yard, but luckily nothing has came back negative on it on my end. Nobody's complained about it or anything like that. So we'll see. I'll be going back this Wednesday to mow that property and we'll see how it looks. Hopefully it kind of grows back in because right now the grass is growing super thick out here. There's another thing that's also keeping me very busy. The grass is absolutely finally growing anyways. It's very thick, it's very lush, it's very fast. So I'm having to do double cuts, triple cuts, I'm having to collect grass, I'm having to do all kinds of stuff to try and keep up with it. So naturally I have had zero time to be able to edit videos, to film anything else. Uh, I've got lots of footage for you guys. I mean I've got hours upon hours of footage for y'all across four different devices that need to get edited. 
I just haven't had any time. You know, I'm working from sun up to sundown and then trying to get parts and stuff like that and trying to fix stuff, readjust stuff. On top of just living life, you guys know life goes on, you got the grocery shopping and you got to spend time with your family and have fun and stuff like that. But that's another topic for another video coming up later. So anyways, I've got one more week that's a little bit crazy this week. But after this week gets over, I do believe it should start to mellow out, hopefully. Knock on wood just to be safe. So again, after this week, I'm really hoping to be able to mellow back out and start catching up with all you guys' YouTube channels and start jumping on your guys' lives and start going live myself again. And hopefully getting back into the rhythm. Again, be sure to stay tuned. Thursday's video, I'm going to finally reveal what broke on this and how long it took me to fix it and everything else. I've got a very good video coming featuring the Bobcat. I've actually got a review of it as well as I'm cutting a very big property with it. It's going to be cutting brush and stuff like that. I mean, brush that's well over, you know, that tall, four feet tall, five feet tall. It's going to be really interesting. I ended up pairing up with another company out here. He's a good friend of mine, but we'll get into that in a later video. I think it'll be pretty entertaining as well as it's got, I think, one other video other than those two videos I've already said that that's going to be in. Of course, you know, my normal content as well as this is going to have a review and several other videos. So the review got cut short anyways. It was supposed to already be out, but because of this week and this broke, I was down a mower for a week. Left me with having to push this. Hey, uh, push mowing sucks. So all you guys that have a regular push mower and push mow every yard, my hat's off to you, man. I have so much more respect to you. I forgot how bad it is push mowing. So all you guys that out there hustle like that, I absolutely respect y'all for doing it. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I just wanted to update you guys on what's going on in my life. What's going on in my business's life? What, what's going on in my channel? You know, where have I been? Why have I not been watching your videos? Why have I not been making videos? So that's all the crazy reasons why. I'm just really overwhelmed. There's a lot going on. So you guys are going to have to bear with me. But I promise we're going to start getting back into it. I've got lots of footage to edit. We're going to work on it tonight and tomorrow. And hopefully the night after that, we're going to try and get lots of footage for you guys. Edited to where we can get back on a regular uploading routine. Hey, if you're not already subscribed right now, please hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up, guys. I always appreciate your support. And as always, guys, thank you all for watching.